So C, find the maximum value of the similar looking questions like A and B. Okay. Now, I've copied the, the pi expression over here. All you can probably notice is that the sine 2 theta minus 2 cos 2 theta is, is kind of identical, except now that the angle theta is double. It's 2 theta, 2 theta. So this means that inside the sine, this theta will also be 2 theta. So you can literally rewrite all of this bit here as um, uh, 2 theta minus and then 1.107. Yeah, that's really it. And of course, that's all squared. Now, to maximize this, just like the previous one, we just have to ask ourselves that what value of sine can we take? Well, since we know this is just a regular sine with whatever inside, it's going to go between minus 1 and 1. But be careful here because it is really dependent on what you go inside here. And don't forget, we're going to square this value. So if you choose a positive or negative and you square it, you're still going to get a positive. Now, the tip for fraction questions, when you've got a value underneath the, on the denominator in the, in the lower part, you want to try and minimize the value as much as possible because the smaller this value is, the greater the final result. Because first, because a big number over a small number will give it will give a bigger number. Okay, so the only way to get this to the absolute smallest is to take it to zero. So this means that to maximize n, we need to make sure this sign part is zero because 30 over 5 plus zero will give us six. But if you chose one, for example, you're going to get something like 30 over 5 plus 2 times uh, root 5 times 1 squared. And that's going to give you an answer like 2. So we so basically just make all of this uh, 0. And doing that, you're going to get n. The maximum value of n is going to be 30 over uh, 5 plus 2 uh, root 5 times 0 squared. And this is going to give us 6. So I couldn't think of a bigger solution. If you chose a negative number again, it wouldn't work. So yeah, just, just keep testing value until it makes sense. I would test one minus one and zero and see what gives you the biggest output. Okay, and the final, final part of the day. So second part, find the largest value of theta in the given range at which the maximum value of n occurs. So again, using this means using the result from part i, uh, pl plug in six there and solve for theta, literally it. Okay, let's do this. Whew, I can't wait to finish this. So it'd be 6 equals all of that. Equals 30 over everything at the bottom. So all you have to do, guys, is just simply rearrange. So let's so let's multiply the denominator across. So 5 plus uh, 2, etc. across to the left side. So you're going to get uh, 6 times all of that. So 30 plus 12. Um, instead, instead of sign, I'm going to put the root 5 sign bit here. So I'll just do dots squared must equal the right hand side, which is 30. Okay, so more or less, um, just solve this. So subtract 30 across is zero, divide 12 is still zero, square root is still zero. So you're left with the dots, which is well, which is the sine term, which is sine 2 theta minus 1.107 equal to uh, zero. Okay, so that's when you subtract 30 and so on. And then sine inverse that, sine inverse is 0, I know for sure is 0 degrees. So 2 theta minus 1.107 equals uh, 0 well, radians. And then to find the maximum, it's probably best to use the sine diagram, the cost diagram. So this means we're going to go through here and S because S is sine. Well, because the angle is 0, it's literally going to be, well, this angle is going to be 0, so it's literally going nowhere. So it's going to be 180 minus nothing. Or pi minus nothing, so it'd be zero pi. So your solutions are either pi or zero. So actually, it's probably a good idea to probably still cycle around. And the reason why I say this is because we've got two theta here. So this means that instead of working with theta, we work in a two theta. And this is of course twice the angle width. So it would be between zero, two theta, and four pi. I mean, this is just telling you how big a theta is. So essentially, you could go around more times. So since we know the angle is flat, I mean, you're just going around here to pi, you're going all the way around to 2 pi. You could even go around an extra time. So that's pi plus pi plus pi, so 3 pi. And again, 4 pi, so your solutions are pretty much in terms of pi. So pi, 2 pi, 3 pi, 4 pi, and so on. Now we just need to be careful because we can only use some of these values. And now that's it. So you've got a bunch of solutions. 
literally just add 1.107 to each of them and divide by 2 and then you'll realize that you can go all the way up to 3 pi so this would be the optimal solution so you would say okay therefore solving this theta equals uh, 3 pi um, plus I've got to slow down 1.107 all over 2 that's it and this would give us about uh, 5.266 and this is literally just less than uh, 2 pi less than or equal to pi because 2 pi is actually roughly equal to 6.283 yeah and if you did if you actually use 4 pi by the way if this was a 4 pi here for example then oh God, my mouse is falling off if this was 4 pi then the actual solution will end up being uh, I calculated already 6.8 something which is obviously not less than 2 pi so again the final solution would be uh, using 3 pi value to get 5.266 oh, and it's finally over yes Whew. well guys I mean I just want to say that this paper was definitely easily top 3 hardest C3 papers I've actually ever written uh, ever <laughs> solved there was a bunch of maximizing problems and well the other questions I don't even remember anymore <laughs> but they weren't easy that that's for sure but anyways I mean I'd like to know your thoughts on the paper as well I mean you guys I'd like you guys to tell me how you found it and you know any particular questions which were challenging because overall this was a this was a mixed bag it was definitely a mixed bag and you know it's definitely ranked as a top paper but you know what I mean it's done so yeah other than that guys I mean I'm gonna definitely rest now I got C4 and um, if you guys are still watching the rest of my videos definitely check out the C4 video okay is if it's not launched by the time I record this it will be launched soon otherwise if it is launched you know after some time has passed after the, the upload of this video then check that out I'll be there and um, you can chat to me anytime otherwise you know have a lovely day you know good luck with your revision and um, get into uni you can do it you know just keep focusing hard and you'll make it otherwise take care guys and have a lovely day